is called vlogging but having two cameras. See? Camera one, camera two. Camera one, camera two. Camera one, here we go. Camera two. We are back in Melbourne, took the red eye from Sydney and just arrived in Melbourne this morning. This is our final day here in Australia. Tomorrow we fly out of Melbourne and we head back to New Zealand. So we have one, one more day today, a full day, to really get whatever it is that we need to get out of Melbourne because we're leaving tomorrow. We are visiting a spot that I have on my list of places to visit which we didn't have time to visit the last time we were here before we headed off to Sydney and that is the Riverside area. So we're going to cross, I think it's one of the many bridges here in Melbourne. I was recommended to visit this place and it kind of looks good. What river is this? Yara. Along the Yara. The Yara River. Check this out. These are the dopest looking electric bikes here jump by uber pretty cool uh is mel gibson australian i don't know but he's gonna be here on the 4th of july 2020 an evening with the man the legend mel gibson the anti-semite <laughs> It is a hot 27 degrees right now in Melbourne. It is, what, the 11th of March. So in the Southern Hemisphere, this would signify the end of the summer season. So we have a... Oh yeah, look at that, there's a bus cunt. Not a bus, there's a boat coming through. Did you through. a bus cunt? <laughs> and it's not a bus, it's a barge. A barge is coming. Let's wave to it. No one's looking at me. Hey, barge. Hey, guys. Hey. All right, I got, I got one, one thumbs up of, of approval from some guy on the boat. I can go home now. Growing up, I had this uh, atlas when I was like five years old and the Sydney Opera House was sort of the iconic image of Australia. And when I was that age, when I was like five or six years old, Australia was like the furthest thing from home that I could possibly imagine. Taking for granted all the travels we did, it really put into perspective just how far we were from home. And that was a really special moment to see the Sydney Opera House with my very own eyes. And it was even better for me, more meaningful, because I was with my parents. And my mom felt like, also from her own childhood, she would always be looking at atlases and maps and there, there would always be the picture of the Opera House. And she couldn't believe either that there she was at the foot of it. You know, you spend your whole life uh, dreaming about a place and then you're finally there. Anticipating it to be this hot today. The whole week we've been in Australia, it's been hovering around the low 20s, 18 to 20 degrees. Cloudy, kind of uh, rainy. So today is the hottest day of the last 10 days that we've been in Australia, 28 degrees. I'm kind of wishing I opted for shorts instead of skinnies, but uh, you know, you live with the decisions you make. And the decisions you make shape who you are. Real talk, hashtag. Roll eyes. Roll your eyes. Okay, Google. Hey, Google. Okay, Google. Hey, Google. What is there to do near me? Okay. <laughs> She didn't even answer me because I was being rude. She just said, here, you figure it out. Federation Square, Botanic Gardens, the Yara River. Well, that's the river right down there. Um, Queen Victoria Market, we did that on our first day. Central Business District. I think we covered the main things. So just as I was saying earlier about how all the buildings are so unique, like, you know, snowflakes here. Look at this building, it's got a hole right through the middle. A middle. Let's see the other side. 
Okay, so we're continuing our walk. We're gonna cross one of the many bridges. We were, we crossed that bridge, walked all along here. Now we're gonna cross here. And we're gonna walk, it's about 10 minutes to Federation Square. So during our time here, we've heard a lot of the, the Aussie accent and I've been trying to dissect the Aussie accent and find the distinction between the Aussie accent and the Kiwi accent. And I'm not too sure. <clears throat> North Americans say, my business is I sell six fish. Kiwis would say, my business, for my business, I sell six fish. <laughs> six fish. Sucks. Uh, who's left? Aussies would say, for my business, business, I sell six fish. So it's like varying degrees of Lazy. twanginess and six. laziness. Six fish, six fish, six fish. <laughs> six fish. I want to buy six fish. Then how would South Africans say it? manicured river front we're here federation square okay so we said we'd come here and we did seems like there's a lot of ferrari renault mercedes tents up i think there's like a kind of like an f1 racing event going on real reason why we came down here is because it's our last day here and then you got that fomo that kicks in right the fear of missing out you got to do things just for the sake of doing things because you don't know when you'll ever be back so So we're gonna hop on the tram. It's free in the CBD, so we don't have to pay anything. We get back to the bus station where Link's parents have been so patient and watching our luggage so we can check into the Airbnb. We're back. Hi. Hey. Jump out of the moving vehicle. <laughs> That's everything. Yeah, nice Thank you very much. We are completo. It was like the light it was like four balls. Oh no. Thank you. At least it doesn't smell like ramen. I said Order pizza. And we don't have pizza, so it's all good. <laughs> uh, home sweet home. All right, back in Melbourne, back in the Airbnb where it all started. It's about 1:45 in the afternoon. We still got some more time. We got our afternoon and evening in Melbourne, and then tomorrow we're off to New Zealand. First things first. I'm gonna grab a shower, grab a quick nap, and then it's back to more sightseeing. Alright, alright, alright. We are back out 
on the town of Melbourne. Yeah, crossing the bridge, and I'm doing my Matthew McConaughey impression. Come on. All right, let's keep going. See around us there's definitely a lot more people around the bars are packed because it is about six o'clock so you know people are done work and they're out having drinks and dinner Just here on Google, trying to figure out where we should have supper. And the best place is a place that's just over there, Hopscotch Melbourne. They're a brew pub. They offered a nitro, nitro ice cream bar, and they got a good selection of different foods. So we're probably gonna go eat there as our last supper here in Melbourne, Australia. Look at this. You don't even have to go to the bar. You can just, oh, you can just order right here. Do you have a few more reader? No. From rain to tap. Rain to tap. Alright, so we are ordering direct from the app here. Yeah. 